Hey there everybody, JT Bear for JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventures. Just a quick friendly note on this one. What you are about to watch is not a good idea. I'm going to do it anyway because I don't have the equipment I need and I really want to get out bow fishing. So today we're going to test what I have decided to go with as my bow fishing setup. A few hopes and prayers for safety in this one. But like I say, this is not a good idea. You should not try this at home or out on the lake or at a creek, period. Just don't do it. Watch it. Just don't do it. So first off, let's discuss my so-called bow fishing setup. I've got my 45 pound takedown recurve bow. Probably familiar with that by now. I have my homemade fishing arrow, which technically doesn't need these on it, but they're still there for now taped at the ends. I got a line running on the side to act as a safety slide. Like I say, this is not a good idea, but it seems to work so far. Now because I couldn't find a bow fishing reel that I could attach to this nice new bow without drilling a hole in that wooden riser, I figured I needed something else. In this case, that something else turned out to be a cheap little $5 from the Walmart clearance spinning rod. Just click to release and it plays out pretty freely. Very short rod. Have no idea how well this is going to work. But in true JT Bear fashion, I'm going forward ignorantly hopeful, hoping for the best. So my plans for this are as stupid as they are simple. I'm just going to be on the beach or on the boat anyway. So I'm going to open that up, get a little extra line, Put it down. Hopefully I'll have access to a rod holder or something. Take my bow. In the case here, I'm just kind of stepping on my handle of that little tiny rod. And let's see how this works. Well, it certainly played out nice and well. I didn't see any complication with flight from it. I guess the next question is, how will it retrieve? All right, well, now that I'm down here, I guess it's pick up my rod and bring that fish back in with any luck. Switch my drag a little. Seem to be caught up on some weeds here. Not good. And I broke my line. So, <laughs> maybe with a stronger line on here. Either way, I guess I need to try again. Well, aside from the fact that my line is clearly too light, I went to retrieve this from my arrow trap, which I'll show you in a minute. And as you can see, my tines bent backwards the other direction. So I think they would give a carp some issue if it was trying to get off of there. That's good. You gotta see the arrow trap though. That's gonna need a little work. So there you can see what remains of my cardboard arrow trap. Clearly pulling that barbed arrow backwards through there was not a good idea. But it was stuck in there pretty good so I didn't really have a lot of options. Alright, well clearly I'm not going bow fishing quite as quickly as I thought. But I'm on the right track and I have now found uh, a fantastic gentleman at Backcountry Sports here in Penticton who will help me find everything I need to be able to be successful in this little adventure. So, until next time, this is JT Bear from JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventures saying go forth, go play outside, play safe, but go play outside.